Hi everybody, welcome back to the nursery. Um, thought I would just do a little update. You probably haven't seen this crib in a while. Um, I had bought this crib about three years ago and it's a Victorian wicker baby bed. Probably between 1890 and 1900s when it was made. I bought it about three years ago at an antique shop and then I decided to remodel the nursery when our grandbabies were being born and actually put a full size crib in the nursery that way I would have it when they came up and for the babies too so I put this on consignment and it stayed in consignment for a year and nobody would buy it I mean it's stunning it's beautiful there's not a thing wrong with it it is a gorgeous bed and it has that head piece and all with it well anyway I had to to get it out of consignment and um, so I decided to bring it home I've gone to several antique dealers here in the area where I'm living now and um, nobody's been interested in it so far they said they can't sell it probably because the economy is the way it is and it's a it's a pretty expensive piece um, so I decided just to put it back up in here and because the grandbabies hadn't been coming a lot and they're kind of getting big now so I went ahead and uh, took it down and um, put this back up in the nursery and Zoe seems to be pretty happy with it in here she's not having any trouble with it she likes her bed she's such a sweet baby <clears throat> like I said I'm home again today with still got the flu like symptoms or whatever and I just really hate it I don't like missing work and I don't like being feeling like I'm trapped in the bed because that's kind of way it feels like you just don't have enough energy to get up and move about but anyway spending some time with Zoe here so she's liking her little bed this is the first time she's ever been in the bed and uh, as you can see it's about a cradle size like if you was to buy a bedding for it I had a um, bumper pad set in here before and it was a cradle size bumper pad that I put in it but I decided not to this time I've just got some quilts laid at the bottom and I've actually just got this pillow in here and her little blankets and some of her little babies that she likes to sleep with and there she is with her pretty little self I think I love this baby more than I've loved any of them that I've ever had except for one of my reborns I had one that was the Ariella sculpt by um, Reva Schick and he was a little boy and I loved that doll so much um, I thought I'd never be apart from him but I did end up selling most all of my reborns so that I could pursue my collection of the um, silicones and um, and I finally got her last October and I just I've never found anything that I like or am as pleased with as I have been with her um, and Wang is the maker of her, and she she done a super, super job with her, and I I just couldn't be happier with her. I love her. She's got a new sculpt out now. It's the um, Raven sculpt, and it's a sleepy eyed baby, and I would love to have that one done in a boy and have a boy and a girl. I know I think we all love just to have a boy and a girl, don't we? Um, I always say if I just get this one I get it in a boy and get this one in a girl and yeah so I don't know but I I really I'm in love with this doll this baby just I love her so much anyway I wanted to share with you the um, crib I don't know that I'll part with it but I may just keep it I said I told my husband and back I think it's just meant to be mine now since I can't really get rid of it she has her pretty little chandelier up there. Our Beatrix Potter frames. And there she is. Got a little basket of toys down there. She's got a little swing. I still have some more pictures I need to hang up in the nursery, but you know, we guys we moved. It's been since November now. So I am still like unpack I still have things in boxes that I haven't unpacked yet, but Oh well, it'll be all right. All right, Miss Zoe, tell everybody goodbye. We'll see you next time.